No solar, no geothermal, and no windmill apparatus in sight. So how can this house being built in a suburb of Washington be green? Because the Passive House focuses on reducing your energy demand to the absolute minimum. David Peabody and his team at Peabody Architects designed the first passive house in the Washington area. Passive houses, he says, are virtually airtight, cutting the cost of heating and cooling by about 90 percent. But what really sets this home apart from other so-called green homes is the fact that it's so unremarkable. That is the beauty of the passive house approach, is that you don't have to build in a particular way with any particular materials um, or to any particular style. That's why in our case we decided to try to do something that was, to prove that point, to make something that was very traditionally American. Peabody Architects may have been the first to build a passive home in the Washington area, but they are certainly not the last. In nearby Arlington, Virginia, Roger Lynn and his brother Eric are in the midst of building a passive home. You want to have a lot of insulation. Um, <clears throat> as you can see here, this is, um, this is a foam board. There's a, it's a two-inch foam board. You can see it's basically a continuous insulated house all the way down to the foundation. Even the windows are airtight when closed, surrounded by a special foam that prevents air from leaking past the seals. And these are triple pane. A nearby neighbor, Kathleen Harrison, says she is thrilled to see passive homes coming to her neighborhood. I'm very excited that Passive House is coming here to the U.S. and that they're integrating a lot of things from uh, what I know in Germany because my family was in the construction business there. The house is so airtight that on a crisp winter day with a temperature around 4 degrees Celsius, the temperature inside the house, even while still under construction, is a comfortable 12 degrees. In, in here, we have, it's, it's above 50 actually. It's above 50 right now. Architect David Peabody says you can find passive homes all over the world. In North Africa, for example, has a passive house community designing for very hot, dry climates. And that's a whole other area of, of exploration for passive house. The first passive home was an apartment building in Darmstadt, Germany built about 20 years ago with the help of two physicists, one of whom went on to found the Passive House Institute in Darmstadt. They developed a methodology and they developed a, a energy modeling software that people like me can use uh, who don't, who are not physicists. Despite some of the specialized materials used in construction, like precast concrete panels, the ventilation system, or the prefabricated insulated board, the total cost of building a passive home is only about 5 to 8 percent higher than a traditionally built house. But a passive house uses only 10 percent as much energy as a conventional home, savings that can offset the initial investment relatively quickly. Rebecca Ward, VOA News. Passive House explained in 90 seconds. Does your house have a heater in the basement or maybe a fireplace? Probably also a central air conditioner or maybe a window unit. Did you ever wonder if it was necessary? In 1991, a physicist in Austria, Dr. Feist, built the first passive house. Here's what he did. 1. Proper insulation. It's just like wearing the right winter jacket, it also doesn't need a heater. 2. No air leakages. There should be no holes, small or large, to let hot air out of the house. 3. No thermal bridges. A thermal bridge is like a road for heating energy in which warmth can travel right through your walls. As a matter of fact, most of our houses have thermal highways in our walls where heat can easily travel to the outside. Plus, the house needs proper windows most of the time with triple pane glass. It needs to be oriented properly so the sun can heat it in the winter and shade is provided in the summer and it uses an HRV, a device that provides the inside with fresh air without letting the heat out. Add all these things up, and it turns out your house doesn't need a heater or air conditioner. So where does the heat come from? A passive house needs 90% less energy, and that can easily be supplied by your body heat, the sun, your appliances, light bulbs, and even your TV. This saves you a lot of money on your heating bill and helps preserve the environment. Did we make it in 90 seconds? You bet we did.